Hi there, welcome to another Bite Size Piano Lesson. In this video I'm going to show you how to play melody and the chords in just one hand. So we're going to use two very popular melodies to show you this. Hopefully it will just give you a bit of an insight on how that is done. I do have many other lessons on fitting chords to melodies, fitting melodies to chords. So let's dive in. So let's take Ode to Joys from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. So I'll just play it first. So now I'm going to add chords to that. This lesson isn't about adding chords to a melody, so I'm just going to give you the chords. This is assume we know the chord as well. So the chords are C major, G major, A minor, G major, C major, G major, A minor, G major, C major. So let's keep it simple. So we are going to play all of that in the right hand. So basically, you're going to have to make sure that the melody notes form the top notes, the highest notes of each chord. So there the chords came in at the start of every bar. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The starting note is an E. So we're, we are going to have to start the chord in this inversion with the E as a top note, so it's a C major chord. So we're going to have to play it G, C, E. And we may have to play it like this. So the rest of your fingers can play the rest of the melody in that bar. So. And the next chord was a G major, so we we're already on the G. We need to play this note again. The other notes in the chord of G major is a B and a D. So we'll have to play that chord like this. So first inversion. So F, E, D. And then the next melody note is a C. And then this is with an A minor chord. So we need to also need an E and an A to make that A minor chord. So it's the second inversion of A minor. And here, the chord is going to be a, a G major chord, but we have like a little sus sort of suspension in the top. So this, the D is the resolving note. Resolves into the D of the chord of G. So if we do all that again, G major, A minor, G major, and then we start that again, so C major. The D is on top, and then C, C major. So now I've got to play C major like this because the melody note is the C, so we need to play the E and G at the bottom. And that is it. So I think the order that you learn this in is maybe learn the melody first and then find out what the chords are and then fit the chords in with the melody, making sure that the chords are organised or inverted in such a way that the melody note is always forms the highest note, the highest part, so you're basically usually playing the melody with your three, four or five most of the time. So if we play that with the left hand, I'm just going to hold the root note of the chords down. So I only need a C, G and an A. <laughs> Let's give it more depth. Now let's 
let's try a different tune. Let's look at the tune of Happy Birthday. So another very short, very popular melody. So I'll play it first. we need is an F major, C major, C major, F major, so just those chords for now, then A minor, B flat major, F major, only four different chords but of course like the first tune we need to now incorporate those chords make them fit with the melody so the melody has to be the top note of all of those chords so the first chord the melody goes and then F major so F is at the top so we have to play A and C as the lowest notes of the chord straight to C major, second inversion. It's because E is at the top, so it needs to place G and C at the bottom. And then C major, already there. G at the top, root position. And then F major again. So next chord is an A minor, so that's C is the top note of the melody, so we need to place the E and the A below, and then we have, like we had in the other one, like another suspension chord, so the chord is B flat major, so we need to resolve to the D, so we need to place the F and the B flat, the other two notes in the chord of B flat major below. So it kind of goes, the E suspends into the D. So that bit goes. And then F major for the A. So we need to place the C and the F below the A. the G so it's just in root position and then F again at the top so we place A and C below it. So if I play all of that all the way through just in the right hand I play it with the left hand just playing some the single notes the root notes of those chords I hope you found that useful. It does actually make for a very good physical exercise as well as theoretical. So I hope you're all well and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. So that's the end of this video. If you have a request please leave them in the comment section of this video. Also remember to like and subscribe. I've left some videos here you might like so go and check those out. I also have a course so if you would like to learn how to read music from scratch go visit bitesayspianocourse.co.uk you can enrol and start learning. I'll see you in the next video.